All right, then. We're going to try to forget about you guys being right there. <laughs> that's getting deleted. Just so you know, that's getting deleted. You got a dirty mind. You guys are gonna see just how choppy this is. What's going on guys, Jeff here for the Saltwater Aquarium Radio Podcast, and today we've got a brand new episode for you. But if this is your first time being here, this is where I talk about everything reef tank related. So if you love yourself some reef tanks like I do, make sure you hit that subscribe button, follow button, whatever the case may be on whatever platform. <sighs> Breathe, Jeffrey whatever platform you are listening to us on we're on a few different platforms we're on pandora we're on spotify we're on oh let's see oh yeah apple we got the googles now today i wasn't going to have multiple subjects i actually was just going to talk about one thing one thing only but i decided to change my mind i did allude to this in yesterday's video which would have been two days ago by the time you guys listened to this uh, where I moved the water box to Corals Unlimited. All right, folks, that's going to do it for this episode of the Saltwater Aquarium Radio Podcast. I want to thank you for listening. If you're still listening, you are absolutely awesome. If you want to learn more about any of the topics that we talked about in today's episode, check out the show notes at saltwateraquariumradio.com forward slash SAR134. That is saltwateraquariumradio.com forward slash S-A-R-1-3-4. That's going to do it for me. Thank you so much for listening, and I will see you next time right here on a future episode of the Saltwater Aquarium radio podcast, which is powered by our friends at Polyp Lab. Don't forget to test those parameters and stay salty. To find out more about today's topics featured on the show, as well as more episodes of the S-A-R podcast, visit www.saltwateraquariumradio.com. That's a wrap, folks. <laughs> uh, all in the nick of time. All in the nick of time. So if you guys want to listen to this episode of the podcast, there's going to be a link in the description. Obviously, it's not going to be put out tonight. This will drop tomorrow at 6 a.m. Now, the recording part of the podcast is just a little bit of it. Um, I have to put it through like a sound check. Then uh, work on the web page, and then uh, get some art for it, and throw some links in there. And I'm actually going to do that at home. Basically, what I do is that right now is I'm recording the podcast at the store, which I need to fix. I need to have podcasting equipment both at home and the store, and essentially um, get that onto uh, Dropbox, and then finish the uploading process on my computer at home because that computer is a little bit bigger a little bit bigger it doesn't make any sense that it's not here um, but other people other than myself actually use um, the computer at home you know that I'm the one that does a lot of content creation a um, couple cool things I wanted to share with you guys today So we got a ton of coral. Look at all that coral. Oh my God. So much coral. Uh, we did move a bunch of stuff into the $25 bin. Here, this is still not nearly as full, but we do have a delivery coming tomorrow as well. And I did pick up uh, something a little extra extra awesome today the very first clam and he is very very healthy because obviously he's not going to do it right now but if you ever want to know how to check a clam uh, for health especially when the lights are on is take your hand and pass it over the clam what that clam should do is actually close up uh, because it thinks you know something's about ready to eat it and doing that is a good way to check your clam so if you're ever going clam shopping and you have a tank 
always pass your hand over the clam. If it's not responsive, it's not in good shape. Uh, if it is responsive, it's in good shape, and you should buy that clam. That guy um, is aquacultured, so that's always good, uh, to, and he's absolutely beautiful. I'll probably try to get a shot of him in tomorrow's video uh, to share with you guys. But let's look at the topic of so many conversations. So the water box. We haven't filmed this guy in a long time. Well, it's got a little bit of a tint to it, but we can fix that with some carbon. Uh, not much going on. Coral here, we got the big old toadstool. Uh, we got some cinularia right there, and a bubble coral that should have died a long time ago. We also got Mr. Clown. Absolutely love him. His coloration's amazing. Beautiful clown. But basically, right now, this is dry here in the back. I got the fittings for that all siliconed out. Um, and what's keeping this guy going right now is this Marineland canister filter. Uh, these are absolutely phenomenal at polishing water. I don't have any carbon in there. And if I did, I bet that wouldn't be as tinted as it is. And then we got little man right here. It's pretty awesome. Actually, it's probably a girl at this point. She's been alone a long time. But we're gonna get her a friend pretty soon. Oh, yeah, but we got that all sealed up, and we're gonna give it until tomorrow morning uh, before we start messing with it. But uh, should should be good right now. But we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait. We're gonna wait, huh, buddy? All right. We're gonna wait, aren't we? Do it. Do it. Do it. So give him some food. Her, her, it's her. Uh, freshwater fish, we're gonna put an order in this week. And uh, been having some thoughts about this. So I think, I think, if I don't sell a whole lot of this by fall, we're probably gonna figure something else out. We're probably gonna take this down and then drill some holes in it and turn it into a coral tank. Because coral tanks be where it's at. Uh, we also got some phytoplankton today. Got a whole bunch of different types. We got, I'm gonna butcher this and somebody's gonna have a conniption fit. We got some tetra. We got some iso. Two bags of each. We got some Chato, but you didn't know there was a Chato. I'm abbreviating because I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. And then we got some more Nano. Uh, but we got some phytoplankton in here. Uh, this is from uh, Quality Marine. Uh, nice packaging, pretty impressive. Um, but I, I'm gonna try to culture some of that. Um, I also got a order of live foods that are gonna be coming in uh, this week because I want to do my live food bar. But yeah, pretty cool stuff. Um, guys, it's going to do it for today's video. I didn't do a whole lot of filming and I wish I did because it was kind of really slow at the store until about 3 o'clock and then I hit my uh, mark that I wanted to do. I did a little bit of fragging today. should have filmed that. Like, these are all bird's nests. Oh, lights this one out. Yeah, I did a little bit of fragging today. Did some gluing, gluing live stuff to plugs, you know, the normal, but um, I don't, when I was doing it, I was like, oh, I should grab my camera and do a little fragging session, because I haven't done a fragging session in years here on the channel. I bet that's probably going to change pretty soon. But guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to check out the podcast, podcast is going to be available tomorrow. Uh, dropping that at 6 a.m. I gotta go home and finish that up. Um, and uh, we're probably gonna throw some water in the water box. We got a coral delivery tomorrow. We got a bunch of stuff going on. Uh, but that's gonna do it for today. Thank you so much. I will see you tomorrow right here with a brand new video. Peace.